<laughs> Hi, my name is Koku with BlackFilm.com, and I'm here with Bernard David Jones. Okay, you got to say all of his name. It's Bernard David Jones. Look, you got to okay? say all three parts of my name. <laughs> all three parts, you know. <laughs> he is in Hollywood, okay? And yes. we're here to talk about his first self-written Hollywood production, Remember. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me. Look, thank you for having me. Anytime I get to come out and have a good time with a, with a beautiful black woman. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Look, I'm here for it. Thank you, and I'm here for it too. You know, and you know, my fellow chocolate um friend Dude, here. You know what I'm saying? Like we just, on, it's, I just, it's I, 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 <laughs> it's when I can look all in your face, I know I'm gonna have a good time. You know, we just started here. I, I met this man like 30 seconds ago, and we over here over like laughing. You know, you can do it at, at happy hour or something. Um, but no, um, I want to tell you something. I did see remember, and let me tell okay. you, I was cracking up. Like within the first couple of minutes, I said, "This right. is." hilarious oh and, yeah um no 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 it's really good and just the way you captured those moments like awkward moments or just the type of thoughts and i was like i got to get into his roots as far as like where he's from because when you started off with that church music i said this is a man that understands me and it's the <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> he gets me he gets, he gets me, me. Like he gets us <laughs> He understands what it's like to be black in America. He understands yes. what it's like to be in church. And you know, you know, we think about a lot of things in a lot of different moments. And you just took us to a place that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, are you gonna open the show? Like this? Like this? And I, and I, you know, literally, like this is one of those times. Like you don't, you definitely don't want to give too much away about anything. But this right. is a show that starts off with such an interesting like bang so to speak <laughs> that like you're just you just get into good it it's words good choice of words good choice <laughs> right of words. right it, it, it's so funny and um i just like the way even just i mean there's so much to talk about let's let's just get into you first and then we're okay. gonna get into the show so i understand you're from patterson new jersey i'm from patterson new jersey girl Yes, wow. if you've seen the movie Lean on Me, that's my city. That's, my city. <laughs> that's your city. But I, I saw that when you know when you describe yourself, you say you're from Patterson, but you were made in Atlanta and now that you're in LA. Why was Atlanta so important, you feel like, for your growth um, as a person? Yeah, just when I when I moved from Jersey to Atlanta, it was like mm -hmm. a, a big culture shock, right? It was mm -hmm. like I was always around, you know, black people. I'm I'm from uh I'm from the hood. Right, when, Patterson. When, from Patterson, yeah. <laughs> when, when, when I got to Atlanta, it was the culture shock was the the diversity in Black people that I, mm -hmm. I got to meet. And um, I, I went to Morehouse College, and I mean, the boy wearing the do rag with the slides, you know, walking to the showers is mm -hmm. 4.5 GPA, 4.7 GPA. And I was just like, wow, it, the amount of successful Black people in Atlanta. And it, yes. It, it's such a motivating city. Yes. I was, I spent 10 years of my life there. So I, mm -hmm. I loved it. I loved it. Mm -hmm. See, I went to the AUC too. I went to Clark, though. I was just right, just oh, right the Clark. Clark yeah, I went to the Clark Lane University. <laughs> and there's just something about us that have had that, that experience. I mean, obviously the HBCU experience is so beautiful in and of itself. But right. going, being in the AUC, being on a promenade, just certain things that we so you know promenade. Ain't nobody got <laughs> <to> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when let me tell you something. When I was in school, and it wasn't your fraternity, but it was another fraternity, they would <laughs> chase us down. I'm like, it is eight o'clock in the morning. I'm just trying to get to this class. I'm trying to compete with that man with the 4.5 GPA, and you're right. running after us like some damn hooligans. Right. I used to get so mad at them. I was like, oh my God, here they come. So I would just here start like come. hiding behind bushes and stuff. So yes, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We are not here to I talk. And, and we're not here to shade nobody, but you no, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, but it's something you're so right. special. Mm -hmm. There's something mm -hmm. so special about being at an HBCU and, mm -hmm. and being around your people and the level of excellence that you're expected to, to maintain, to reach and then maintain and into the community aspect of it and making mm -hmm. sure that you got your brother's back or you have your sister's back. It was just... And Morehouse was not my first choice. I wanted to stay in New really? York. No, yeah. I was. I'm not going there. I don't want to go to Atlanta. And literally, I was. I told my father, I was like, I'm coming home every weekend. He was like, Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you are. You can come home every weekend. I got uh, there. I was like, I will never come back. Thank you so that's much. That's how I felt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, let me come here. I like what you pointed out in terms of like the diversity and in the mm -hmm. sense that like. You can make so many instant assumptions about people just based on how somebody's dressed or maybe even how they talk. Yeah. Um, just, just I remember even just like just seeing like not the first minute I touched down Atlanta, I didn't even understand the Atlanta accent. The dialect threw me off. It took me a while to sort of get it. It was right. almost like another language to me. It was almost like a patois. Right. 
And yeah. then after a while, I started being able to do the accent. I think you started being like, Shana, hey, 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 my friends are like, what is going on? You know, like, I know you talk like that now. So I'm like, oh, I do, huh? Because <laughs> you, know, you, you start off with the yeah. irony of it, like, hey, shoddy. Then it's like, wait, no, I ate shoddy on my own. That wasn't. <laughs> right. You're like, what's, wasn't... what's going on here? <laughs> no, but this? I love it. I want to talk about something that I don't, I bet I don't know that people may, they may not necessarily know, but that you grew up in the church. I did, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, like, the church was, like, the first place most young, black, Mm -hmm. performers get a chance to perform in front of people, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there's the choir or the, the, the Easter play or, you know, <laughs> this church, you know, mm -hmm. that's where you, you kind of, if you're born to be a performer, that's kind of where you start if you're, you know, a black person. And that's where it was for me. It was the choir. It was getting up right. in front of people and then, and then feeling that. <laughs> and it's like, wait a they're like, they clapping for him a little loud. That means I got something. <laughs> I got something. <laughs> this solo yeah. went off. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. But then it's like, you know, again, like what you see that your church home accepts you, they see something in you, but then you move on yeah. to where you're touring with the performing arts company. So was that before college or? Um, so, yeah. So uh, I was actually able to join the performing arts company while I was still in high school. It was so oh, it was like a, okay. bunch of, yeah, a bunch of kids from, you know, Patterson who were into performing. They got into this one group and we were able to like travel the United States and travel mm. outside, and just perform plays that we that we wrote as a company, you know. Really? Um, okay. Original plays. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, hmm. original plays that we wrote as a company and we were able to kind of exercise that muscle and that kind of triggered more. I wanted more. I wanted more. And then I got to more. I went to a performing arts high school. Mm, um, mm -hmm. So our whole um, education was built around whatever it was that your what your discipline was, mm -hmm. and so being in that every day, hours on top of hours on top of hours, it just fosters like this need or this desire to go ahead and do it, do it for real, do it bigger, do it better. So, mm -hmm. I've no, been I guess since. <laughs> right. No, it's interesting. I guess like some people they're just destined to do a thing, and I'm sure that people that have maybe known you all your life, which kind of like, well, you know, we kind of always knew. <laughs> yeah. that, was, yeah, that was where he was going with it. I mean, you're saying performing arts high school, touring while in high school, then of course mm -hmm. going somewhere in Atlanta where Atlanta just allows you to be so expressive. expressive. I mm -hmm. really, really just love that town, um, you know. And then of course, um, I think it's just so interesting how um, you were on tour with Life Jennings. Like, what? <laughs> I've had a very interesting life. What, what, is, what, what is going on? Like, some of the stuff that just sounds almost like made up. Who can <laughs> like, what? What's going on? Right. Like what? that was, uh, again, my life has been very interesting. <laughs> uh, I was able, I, there was, I remember uh, being in the car and hearing like um, on the radios that Life Jennings was auditioning for background singers. And I was wow. like, I was like, I'm gonna I'm a go, I'm gonna go, yeah. I'm gonna go. See what's gonna happen. So I went there, performed, kept me. Performed again, kept me. Performed, yeah. like you start to see people start to go away and it whittles down to like life in three others or life in four of us. And mm -hmm. we're just like singing and vibing. And he's like, okay, great. And I'm for like two months. Not, not even sure, you just go. No, I left yeah. like, wow, I got to sing with Life Jennings and it was great. And that and that wasn't even enough. That's good. That, I was just like, this is, <laughs> if nothing from nothing else comes from this, I got to do that. <laughs> And it was amazing. And then two months later, you know, I'm minding my business, living life. I get a phone call from the tour manager and, that's, and he's like, yeah, so we need you uh, to be on the bus in 24 hours. Can you make that happen? Wow. I'm like, so I have, I have a dog. I have things like I can't just <laughs> He was like, so are you saying no? I was like, no, 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 no. I'm saying yes. I will be there. I will figure this dog thing out. I am covered. Right. Mm. And so we like that was just oh my goodness. I got to travel to all of all around the United States, singing with life in all these types of venues from mm -hmm. clubs to big concert halls. Mm -hmm. We were able to travel outside of the United States, flying oh, places. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was like you you kind of see see it in the movies on a tour bus, all the people mm -hmm. stacked into a tour bus. And like that was my life for a few months. And it was really? like it was amazing. It was amazing. So, so how would you compare that life in terms of being on tour and just kind of like sort of living out of your suitcase? I mean, you get to see beautiful things, but again, those are like a couple of days in one place. And then you're just sort of, you're not really connecting with places in the same way. But is that still 
would you prefer that or could you do that long term again? Or I don't think I kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's that. I'm, I'm look, girl. I've, I've grown a couple <laughs> ages since then. <laughs> These bones don't fold up on cotton the way they used to. <laughs> so, um, I think that was an experience for its time, yeah. and it was great. Yeah. I had a great time. Um, but uh, like acting, that is that is what that I'm is asking. it. Most so, mm -hmm. more so, more than just acting, is con like creating my own content. Like that is that is where I am now in my life. And I enjoy singing. I still sing in the shower with my dog, you know, <laughs> annoyed, but you know, whatever, he's my big, you know, he's my biggest fan. Um, so I still, <laughs> you know, I still sing, I'm still, I love music so much, mm -hmm. but this is, this yeah, is, this, the, this is, this is right now. This is the um, right now. You know, it's very interesting because Bernard, as I'm looking, Bernard David Jones. You know, you're talking to him, Bernard David Jones. No, no. but um, as, I, as I'm watching um, your production, remember, I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm also um, exposed to the things that you love. You've got the photography mm. in there, right? Yes, You've absolutely. You've got, of course, the, and I see even with the shots and how you, I'm telling you, I pay attention to these things, you know, because I watch a lot of stuff and some of the stuff don't be good. So I might even <laughs> to be like, well, okay, you know, you did a thing. I understand that you were in this show. Mm, that's oh, nice. Great. You know, I, I, I can't, I can't lie to people. I don't lie. I mean, I, I, I don't know that I have the best poker face. So I'll speak to, if anybody ever pays attention to my, inter my interviews, I'll speak to things that just have nothing to do with the production. If it really <laughs> You just veer yeah. away from them. Yeah, just, you know, like, you know, so tell me about, you know, like um your favorite color, you know? I mean, not that, not that base. Not, I'm just kidding. But, you know, you could kind of, you could kind of feel it. But, um no, so again, I'm seeing these things that seem to matter to you. Obviously, like photography is one of your passions yes. that you spoke on. Um, And then mm. I'm looking at the shots themselves and how, um, even the lighting on people. I see that there's special care to certain things. I love like mm -hmm. how you break the fourth wall and you're speaking to us, but then you're kind of go back into the scene and it's not like you're taking us out of the scene. There's so many special things that you, you, you pay attention to in so much detail. It's just interesting to me. I mean, you said that when you were um, in the production that the initial production when you were in high school, where you guys were sort of writing and contributing, did that prepare mm -hmm. you even something as, as, as far away as like high school? But yeah, for this I, moment too, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think what those uh, those teachers, those professors did was mm -hmm. challenge you to to say things that are important to you, um, mm -hmm. and it gives you the opportunity to speak your voice. You know, even if you, even if part of the production you only get four lines that you wrote, like it's mm -hmm. still something that you wrote that came from you that's important mm -hmm. to you. And being challenged in that way from an early age, I was like, okay, I like this. And mm -hmm. writing has always kind of been around because I always knew that I wanted to be um, on top of being an actor. I wanted to be a, a creator and create mm -hmm. shows, create opportunities for all my talented friends to come and play. So I always knew that that was a part of my purpose. Um, and from an early age, just cultivating that skill, yeah. cultivating the, the ability to think outside the box um, storytelling in general. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think all of those things contributed to where I am today. And, mm. and like in high school, in college, we took we had to take playwriting. We had to take writing, uh, different styles of writing. So mm -hmm. it's always, always, always been there for me. Mm -hmm. I just I, didn't know if it was good enough, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You just never know. And, I do this. <laughs> and that's Wait. all. Uh, and that's all the good Lord asks us to do. <laughs> I know, we learned that. Him. Made the church say amen. God is good. <laughs> no, but um, I, you know, again, I, I, what I really loved about this production, and I, and I have to just, I, and I, I said it um, when I was speaking to your PR, I was like, you know what I really liked about it is that, um, first of all, like I've told you about the everything that was put together. And it's like, I, I love the, the sort of the twist that gives us a sort of brings everything together. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is so freaking brilliant to me how he did this. Thank you. Um, Thank you. But I know I loved it. Um, but what I really, really love is the attention um, that you pay and in terms of like um, normalizing these really healthy friendships Yep. And um, it's just like every person is, is completely different. They're dealing with something different. I mean, there's lighthearted things too, but it's not like making a mockery of anybody's sexuality. When there is mm -hmm. some, there's, there's a, there is a, um, a conversation where we are talking about something where somebody is sort of grappling with, you know, who, how they present to other people. But right. it's not, we're not making a spectacle of the person. It's actually a very realistic scenario. And I think you, you paid it great attention and care to that type of, um, of situation. And I think that a lot of people will love watching the show because not only will they be able to relate, but they'll be able to understand how it can be for other people that may be living with, you know, 
that type of um, maybe secret in some senses. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. it. For me, it, when I wrote it, it was all about one, we're not here to teach anybody anything. No, right. right. Mm -hmm. to show up at this time in these characters' lives, drop in mm -hmm. and, and enjoy the ride. Yes. Like the biggest thing for me. Um, and also being authentic. Like this is my mm -hmm. community. This is my love letter to my community, to my mm -hmm. friends, people I've met, you know, social groups that I've hung out with. Like I was just like, this is what we, we deserve something that we yep. can watch and see ourselves and mm -hmm. feel good about the images that we see, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so authenticity was super important. And mm -hmm. I wanted it to feel like these are just friends, like normal people just living their it, lives. Exactly. With all the things that we all deal with, heart, mm -hmm. heartache, love, mm -hmm. um, confusion, mm -hmm. life's ups and downs. Like the sexuality is the part that is different, but the things mm -hmm. that we go through are generally the same. And so I wanted it to be something where straight people could come and watch and enjoy and laugh. And, mm -hmm. if, you, and if you learn something from it, that's great too. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted it for queer people to be like, I see you. Oh, mm -hmm. we getting together. We can get together Sunday because Jahi is so stupid. He doing X, Y, and Z. And, you know, he should be doing Like, I want those things for us. Um, mm -hmm. Just like we support, we've been supporting shows that have straight male characters, leads, mm -hmm. straight female character leads, straight relationships. And we as queer people have come up Mm -hmm. and celebrate it and enjoy it. And I just mm -hmm. want that same thing for us in this situation. Mm -hmm. We just, it's just fair. <laughs> you know, it's just no, it, it is fair. And, and I love it. Um, and just like you said, it's, it's, it's not um, pronouncing sexuality. Like, I think that what people, what people fail to realize is that being queer in and of itself, it's not the identity of the person. There's so many moving parts and we yeah. know everybody is a sum of so many things. You cannot just make you can't identify someone simply by who they're attracted to. So right, this, I mean, this, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm saying we all right. have multiple identities that, that right. you know that intersect. That yes. um, sometimes those identities conflict. You know, mm -hmm. and it's just like it's okay. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. go see the people, enjoy the people, regardless yeah. of who you are, or how you identify. These are people that we all can just relate to and enjoy, and hopefully, you laugh. Because you oh no, it's 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 funny. I'm telling y'all, like first like thirty eight seconds, you on like it, the first scene. Is like... Yeah, first scene is hilarious. I was like, this man, okay, yeah, <laughs> it was so funny. And I'm telling you, Ridiculous. people are going to relate. It's like, oh my god, they're going to relate. Um, you know, I, again, and I also I saw your Instagram, and I wanted to say this. Like, I think that you know another thing that's so important is that you are really showcasing black love you're loving out loud you know oh, and cool. your partner is beautiful you guys look so good together both oh, of y'all you. look good you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm just not gonna take nothing away from nobody <laughs> but no they they look so good guys and um you know i think that you know at, at a time and I, maybe you're not necessarily trying to be somebody's role model or trying you know mm -hmm. you're you're doing what you know you do well which is I and mean, he's a you're a very good actor and i think you know that doesn't Thank have you. to necessarily be stated but you're, you're very good at what you do um but there are people that are seeing you and you're being very honest in your life and there's a time when people have to kind of hide and you're yeah. not doing that and i think what people need to know is that as someone that is um he's not doing this he's creating his own work he is a working actor he doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. have to create his own work but he's choosing to create work that reflects a community that is underrepresented in media and mm -hmm. also working within media different roles and everything like that like you have sort of tasked yourself with something maybe inadvertently maybe on purpose i don't really know but where you've become a role model um uh, how does that yeah. feel to like is that a little bit of a uh, is that heavy yeah i mean I, I guess I don't ever really look at it like that. Like I'm mm -hmm. a role model. I just feel like, hey, I've spent so much of my life, you know, hiding mm -hmm. or not necessarily hiding, but keeping certain parts of my life away from the public because I'm like, if you know that part of me, mm -hmm. I won't like I won't be able to do this thing that I love to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna put mm -hmm. it back. You say, you know, when you're like, oh but no, you know your girlfriend, I'm like, oh, you know, like girlfriend. Yeah. You know? You know, so I spent so much and, of my and life. And you, you touched on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I spent so, that's why I kind of identify with that character a little bit mm -hmm, because I've mm -hmm. spent so much of my life trying to shield that so that I could have the drink, you know? Mm -hmm. And that character is also shielding mm -hmm. so that I can have the drink, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to live as out loud and authentically as possible. I love it. Because mm -hmm. the one thing I owe it to myself you know, mm -hmm. I owe it to mm -hmm. myself to be a fully formed human being and mm -hmm. be happy and enjoying my life just like others get to do. Yes. Um, 
And so I've just decided I'm going to be me and either you're down with me or you're not. And and if you're not, that's okay. You know, because I mean, yeah. you just weren't supposed to. Listen, that's a, that's a life lesson for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you ride with me, you're going to ride with me. If you don't, you right. don't. This is, nobody's campaigning, not competing for affection. What is that? No, a race? No, no, no. <laughs> you're here, no, no, you're I'm not. Just, no. No, and I have, a, I have a beautiful human being of a partner. And I'm just yes. like, you deserve to be celebrated as well. And, and love it. I, he's amazing. He's great. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, we ain't going to do this. We ain't going to pretend like we homies. And, and, you know? <laughs> I know. Here's my boy. I'm going to be like, uh, hey, you're a you're a you're a you're a <laughs> like my oh grandma, my God. your friend. Your little, your so little I'm friend. His, your little friend. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm his little friend. That's the next introduction. Oh, I'm just his little friend. <laughs> I was like, no, baby, you deserve it. You don't got to do that. You're my, right. You're my man. You're my man. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you for doing that. I mean, mm. and it's so interesting because as you show more aspects of your life, you, I'm sure you realize that people love it. Yes. <laughs> right? I, I, the moment I decided to mm-hmm. live authentically, to be myself, mm-hmm to just go be Bernard, things started to happen for me. Like I was like, oh, okay, all right. I was so afraid that I would lose this thing. And I just, I I did it. And it created more opportunities for me to to live in what I believe my purpose is, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, yeah, I'm I'm about to live out loud. I'm just gonna be me. (laughs) Dad, if you're gonna come on my Instagram, you're gonna see me. I love it. I love it. And you've gotten to do so many things. I mean, because you were able to act in Atlanta, you've yes. been able to act in LA. Um, I do want to ask you um what the difference is in terms of like work, getting work in Atlanta versus LA. Is it harder, more difficult? I mean, I know there's a lot of productions in Atlanta now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, when I first when I was uh acting in Atlanta, Atlanta mm-hmm. was just starting to like ah, okay, okay. Where you know, productions were coming and, mm-hmm. and uh, people were making Atlanta more of a hub for entertainment. And mm-hmm. I was just like, okay. It, it gave <laughs> me the opportunity to like come in as like a guest star on a show. Yeah. If I did well, they, you know, they keep you around for more episodes. So I was able sure. to kind of like, you know, get in a little bit, to start mm-hmm. to understand the business and started to um, understand what a multi-cam was versus mm. a cam. And so it was very educational and Atlanta, mm-hmm offered that to me. But I realized at some point I was like, I got to go to LA. If I want that major yeah. role, this major television show on this major network, like I have to be in LA. And LA mm-hmm. will probably fly me back to Atlanta, but yeah. I have to be in LA, mm-hmm. you know? So Atlanta was great because the acting community there is really great. It's very, it's, mm-hmm. you know, you kind of know each other, you see each mm-hmm. other all the time. And I thought coming to LA, it was going to be different, but I walk into an audition, I'm like, oh, hey, how you been? Okay, you, yeah. hey, you coming is over? It gonna be me or you? Oh, yeah. right. If it's not me and it's you, we got we got go out. We can yeah. have drinks. So, I love like, it. I love part, it. That part was like a, a nice, pleasant surprise. But I felt I just felt like at the time, if I really wanted to be at the level that I wanted to be, that I had to come here. Mm-hmm. Do you suggest that though that people start off and maybe in a smaller market first and then come to LA? Is that probably yeah, the best? I mean, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, because the most important thing was the education, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The opportunity to do the thing, to mess up and be mm-hmm. like, oh, sorry, you know, try to figure work, it all didn't out. work, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you have the, if you're in Atlanta or uh, like a Chicago or mm-hmm. Canada, somewhere like that, where you can get in and kind of learn the business and mm-hmm. get maybe guest stars here and there, like I think mm-hmm. it's good. I think it's good, yeah. Mm-hmm. But some people could come out here and pop, you know. You know, you, <laughs> you hear those stories and it's just like, you, you are one in a million. Like, I just came off the plane and that's casting director. It's like, child, that ain't how <laughs> it happened. <laughs> that's where I saw me at baggage claim. It was like, you are. <laughs> and now you're an X-Men. So it's, now like- you're like, yeah, it's like, how, you know? That person, like I was at the Beverly Center at the Gap. Oh, really? Okay, so that's right. what I have to do. That oh, that's gonna happen for me? No, it doesn't right. happen. <laughs> some people do have, you know, it does. Some people, right? But some people, you know, you know I, I think the education. I'm big on education, so it's like yeah. I, I think the education of it is is great. Do you to date still take acting classes as well? Um, no, but what I do is I surround myself with actors that like okay. I love and I appreciate, and we 
we make it work. Hey, can you help me with the self tape? Can we run through the scene? Can we do this? Can mm-hmm. like let's beat this scene out now? So yeah. I'll, so you're, you're still in the community, still working, and okay, that's that's okay. That's a yeah, still an education, true. like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still it. education. Like, and that's something because classes can be really expensive, right? Yeah. So it's like find your community of people that you appreciate, that you like, you like their acting, and y'all work together and figure it mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. You know? That's, and so how, how many more episodes um do you have for remember so we we want to definitely do at least eight okay at least eight mm-hmm. eight to ten mm-hmm. Ooh, so I, can't ten see, I can't wait for you to see where the story goes oh oh i can't wait either i'm like this is this is good man you gotta you're good so even Thank like with the, when you were writing um for remember though like I mean, I know, like you said, you know, the, the education has always been there and you've done different things. Had you ever considered yourself, though, like a script writer or was it like, this is something I got to do? No, yeah. right? No, wow. I never considered myself. Like, I knew that I wanted wow. to do it, yeah. but when I was so, like, I was feeling like an imposter, right? And, mm-hmm. and you know, I had the imposter syndrome of like, mm-hmm. am, I, am, I, am I just an actor that's trying to write? You know? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That can happen, sure. As opposed to like being like a writer. And so I was able to go to the Television Academy's writing program for- oh, see? Um, okay, mm-hmm. there we go. So, mm-hmm. I had, so that was like my first introduction into like sitting down with the script, figuring mm-hmm. out how to do it, having people from the industry come in and read and critique. Mm-hmm. Like that was a, a life changing experience, and then mm. I said I started to think of myself like, oh, okay, yes, I am a writer. I can create mm-hmm. story. I'm a good storyteller. Um, I understand character. I understand plot. I understand mm-hmm. these things. So yeah, I'm a writer. I'm a writer too. Uh, I am. Look, I love that. Look, you gotta claim it. <laughs> you know, anybody tell you what you ain't and what you are? Look, Bernard, I am a multi millionaire. <laughs> Done. <laughs> what are you talking about? We already got our house in the hills next to each other. What are you talking about? Exactly. I'm coming over to borrow this bike. <laughs> you know, Can you watch the dogs? Exactly. <laughs> Let me go ahead and swim in your under uh, your in ground pool. The in ground one, you know. <laughs> in ground. In ground. With a waterfall. <laughs> Listen, but but I, I I truly love it, and I'm glad if, if we can get to ten, I'll be <laughs> I'll be so excited. <laughs> exactly, yes. and then, you know things just go so many places because once people get invested in these characters, like you know maybe mm. then it'll be like, well, what about the movie? You know what I mean? Like it just so many things. Look, oh God! <laughs> into the universe, universe, universe. <laughs> He's good, but I'm I'm so glad that you said that you were in the writing program because I think that a lot of times too, like when we all we get these big ideas and 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 how we want to cultivate them and what we want to do, a lot of times what people don't understand is that you know things that don't just kind of happen out of thin air. Like somebody that's really ambitious and that's really dedicated and really wants to know, um, is willing to grow and willing to sort of sit back and learn. And the fact that you were able to go to this class and not be um and have the humility to be taught especially yeah. when you've come so far within your acting. I think that speaks a lot about your character and that's a lesson that people need to learn. You know, you know like, come Thank on you. guys, like you gotta sit down and <laughs> take the information. And there are, there's someone that's been doing it before you. It's, it's you know, yes, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Yeah, like I'm just, I'm a, I'm a student. So I love, yeah. I love learning. And even through the process of making Remember, there were things that I just, I didn't know. You know, mm-hmm. I, I've always been in front of the camera. Now you have me behind the camera making decisions. And mm-hmm. so I, I had an amazing team. Our director, Tyree Waribi, he was amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, producers, Josea Chanchez was also a producer on it. Shout out um, to Josea, I know who that is. Hey, Jose. <laughs> as well as, uh, I call her my superwoman, mm-hmm. uh, Jim Little. And mm-hmm. I learned so much just from watching how she was able to organize things using computer programs I never heard of. And now I'm, <laughs> I'm putting in numbers and trying to figure out we're negotiating, hey, we can we do it for a hundred dollars less? Like all of those like, <laughs> you know, things that you don't Learning see. Learning on a job. <laughs> just, just, just walking around. Hey, can I get a discount on that? No. Okay. <laughs> so, this is not the flea market, is it? <laughs> it's not. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's important to me to be a student. You know. Yeah. To be a student I- of the craft that you're mm-hmm. trying to master. Now, now beyond your your baby here, um, what are you working on as well? Is there anything else that you're doing outside of this as far as your acting? Um, so I am still writing things. Um, mm-hmm. Can't talk about it just yet. I, see but, how it um, goes. See, nobody <laughs> even wants to tell me. <laughs> nobody I'm wants to tell things. me anything. <laughs> I'm writing things. I'm writing things. Um, yeah, and so like that's where I am right now, just kind of building the slate of um, my production company, Black Boy Joy. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, we got things coming. Love it. I love Black Boy Joy. But, you know, I was going to ask you, though, are you now comfortable where you would even be willing to be a writer on a television show separately as just a writer? I don't know. I yeah. And that's the, that's the other thing about the, the the business is, like, you have people who write shows yeah. for the television thing, but then you have, like, staff writers. And it's like, yeah. how do I write in somebody else's voice? I don't know. You uh, know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But maybe. maybe. Yeah, you know, sure, maybe. sure. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Wow, it, it is. Um, this was a lot of fun. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, to you. I have fun too. <laughs> <laughs> I have fun. Anybody that had to go to church had to is a friend. Look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm because I used to do my solos too now. Okay. You <laughs> Look, and, I believe uh, you. I see you and your little dress. <laughs> and I was about to, because you know, I do, I do not wear it. I'm a very, I'm a tomboy to the max. Even as a grown woman now, I'm still super tomboy. So you got to. Bro, I mean, I, I might wear no, no, because the last funeral I went to, I did not wear a dress. I'm not gonna lie to you, so no. It's very, it's very. <laughs> I wore a very elegant pants too. I know, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, 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 not that one. The last one I went to, that they, they wasn't, they weren't an elegant person per se. So it was, it was, it, it was sweatpants and t-shirts. We were, it was all good. It was, it was totally appropriate. Look, um, but I'll, that's I'm I, sweatpants I, right now. You just can't see. Yeah. I'm in sweatpants <laughs> right now, and my and my Selena t-shirt. Okay, shout out to Selena. Um, yeah. But. <laughs> No, um, it was a lot of fun talking to you, and I just really look forward to um to, to what you have um in store. I mean, since you can't tell me, but <laughs> um, no, it's uh conversations like this are very important because you know you really when you talk to someone where you can learn something from the person and talk to someone where you know that they can make an impact on someone that may just be quietly just watching and yeah. just want to it's like a teachable moments. Um, there's moments of reflection. Um, mm-hmm. there's something to take away from this conversation where they can talk about things. So Right. Like I said, but now if you listen to some of my other interviews, they don't always go like this where you know <laughs> you know, like it was real your hair was so cute, girl. Like something like that. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. you not, but y'all yeah. running down. Oh god, that shot was amazing. <laughs> Just, you can kind of you can tell when somebody's a little invested and when you know you know i mean i know how to play the game myself so it's not like i'm like i said i'm not lying i'm just not speaking to things that i don't want to have right. to lie about <laughs> well, I'm, really, I'm really happy you enjoyed it like no the whole good. Good. is hopefully to build empathy throughout the world you know yes. empathy yes. for our community um and you gain and you gain that empathy by representation and not just yes. diversity but inclusion inside of the diverse community uh communities. yes yes so it's, Hopefully we're building some empathy while you laugh a little bit. Good laughs. Yeah. <laughs> Good laughs. A great diverse group of friends from all walks. They all come together and they all love each other just the same. Yes. And it's just like everybody else, like you said. Mm-hmm. And, and the themes within the show are relatable. You don't have to be. Um, it doesn't matter whoever you love or, or mm-hmm. whatever. That that has nothing to do with anything. It's literally, all of these themes are relatable to everyone. So um, do not do not. Yeah, it's about being human exactly. So do not feel like the show um, cannot speak to you. It, it definitely can. And um, like I said, those laughs, they start immediately. And uh, <laughs> he's got like, you know, you have this way um, with with how you um, you move the story along where it's just these small little details. Cause I watched it actually, I watched it like three or four times just to kind of take it in oh, and make wow. sure that I, okay. Oh no, I did, I'm, 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 that, I'm that kind of person. I and love so it. That, yeah, no, no. And so as I'm watching, I'm like, you know, this is so freaking funny. There's just so many scenes and so many things. And like I said, there's these moments, I'll, I'll point to like, even like the dry cleaners where there's a line mm. that he says where, again, that's a black experience. Like the reference that he makes when he kind of goes mm-hmm. and makes that uh-huh. reference. I'm like, you got to come from a certain place, so, you know, or, or a certain era or have parents of a certain era, so to speak. Uh-huh. To get to that know, one. To get that one. So it's like mm-hmm. that kind of fun is something that we all, we have that shared experience. So I felt like I was, you know, like I was, that's a, that's a good, that's a good friend watch. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good friend watch. Woo, I'm, I'm going to see if one of my local bars is going to have it on the screen. So, you know, I can <laughs> have my friends over. No, it's going to be good. You know, I love it. I love yeah. It. I love Once again, my name is Coco with blackfilm.com. I'm here with Bernard David Jones. Say all yes. names. Okay. Um, what a beautiful human being. I really enjoyed talking to him. Um, this was just like, I feel like I just got some free game right now. You know? Oh. Yes. I, listen, if it. I don't walk away out of here writing something, <laughs> something wrong with me. Go write it. Go write it right now. You all are going to love Remember. Um, this is so 
freaking funny. I mean, he did such an excellent job. Um, you will not be disappointed. And um, I just can't wait to, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of my friends, actually, it's so funny when I went to your Instagram, I was like, oh, man, y'all already knew who he was. I got to say something. <laughs> like, the hell? <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool when you see that, like, oh, y'all already on. I got to put y'all on, huh? So that's always good. <laughs> No, but um, I love it. And, and um, thank you so much for talking to me. I, I really appreciate it. I feel very, very honored to speak to you. And I know good things are coming. And this thank man you. is self-made over here. Come on, look. I know. I just wish he would sing more and not just in the shower. But, you Maybe. know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Let him we'll use see. you. <laughs> let him, you know. I got to get the throat back, you know. Look, look. But no, see, because, you know, I, I do. I <laughs> I'll be in karaoke, right? Like, that's my thing. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> you know, that obnoxious person in karaoke. And they'll just be like, oh, well, you know, I would just do a little something. You know, then they'll be like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like yeah, really, I've been in karaoke. So I'm like, is this a concert? <laughs> that person just need to sit down because they're not making it fun anymore because, like, you're doing the most. That is me. You are that's a singer. No, they're not like you're doing. No, sometimes that's not fun though. Like that's not cool. I so I know. I, I sometimes you'll scale it back and be like, well, they don't need to get this. So <laughs> let me Can we put on no scrubs, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll I, no exactly. Scrubs. Let's just let's throw on a little Britney Spears. You know, we ain't gonna, <laughs> we don't gonna get our soccer bag tonight. This is not this is not the crowd. No, but um, <laughs> no. Um, oh my God. I'm just listening. Um. I'm definitely going to hit you up for happy hour because you seem Good. like you will be, make all my sad hours happy. Come on, I got you. Let's go. Let's go drink. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Um, Bernard Thank David you. Jones, guys, remember what a beautiful person. I really, really enjoyed this conversation. Thank you so much and have Thank a you. great day. Thank you. Thank you I got to put this up. Because <laughs> <laughs> yo, you know I know how to edit now. So shoot, I'm about to do my, my uh, feature film. Come on, do it. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Bernard. Yeah. What a beautiful human. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell.